if you would have asked me about a year and a half ago when I started doing these Funko NFT videos, if I would ever go into a drop like this, I would say that you're definitely bat crazy. Ooh, what's up, guys? I'm DK Wrestler, and surprisingly enough, we are actually opening up packs of the My Little Pony Funko Series 2 NFT. So let's brony on wait no I, I don't like the way that sounds so let's get started Alrighty, so like every funko nft video we're going to be looking at the possible redeemables that you could obtain while opening up these packs so this drop actually only has four redeemables since i believe it was 8,500 uh pieces for the premiums and standards for this drop so pretty low piece count actually so starting off with the grail 999 pieces it is daybreaker which of course i don't really know anything about my little pony but this actually looks pretty cool i like the whole design the whole yellowy eyes and especially the whole flame aspect to it i'm kind of glad this is the grail because it is from what i've seen thus far the most detailed out of the four then going on to the legendaries which are going to be limited to 1700 pieces each first off we have ourselves applejack which i'm kind of excited because when i did the initial like predictions video when this was originally leaked that i actually predicted applejack even though i don't know really anything about my little pony so i'm glad that with little to no knowledge i still got one of the predictions right for this drop then for the other legendary, we got ourselves Princess Twilight Sparkle. I feel like there may have been a version of this character before from what I last remember of the My Little Pony set, but nonetheless, it still looks pretty decent. And then we have the Royalty, limited to 2,000 pieces, when of course you get the other cards that aren't legendary or grail, that being common, uncommon, rare, and epics in which that is king sombra or king sombra i don't know how it's pronounced but this pop is not only going to be a metallic pop but it's also going to be a glow in the dark pop which i believe this is actually the first time in funko nft history that we actually have two specifications on one funko pop we've gotten multiple metallic pops we've gotten multiple glow in the dark pops at this point but we've never had both of the specifications as terms to one pop which i don't know i feel like in my mind though just from the way that this looks this should have been metallic and then the grail here because of how uh, vibrant the colors are because it's flame based is that this should have been glow in the dark at least that's my thoughts let me know down below so today we have four premium packs from this drop and in case you're wondering i actually bought all of these packs from atomica because i just felt like i didn't really want to spend my actual hard-earned money as terms to this drop unfortunately so i relied on my wax wall that i basically only have about two dollars usd worth of wax be in my account now after buying these packs but of course let's open up the first pack of this drop which is number 6168 out of 8500 let's see if we can get some first pack magic here <laughs> Alrighty, first card or first item is a common daybreaker. This is the character that has the grail. So it's not the grail because it says common, but you never know. We could pull that grail today. An uncommon rainbow dash sea pony. An uncommon twilight sparkle sea pony. A common fluttershy sea pony. A common Rainbow Dash Sea Pony. That is, wow, that almost became a tongue twister for me to say, adding the Sea Pony at the end to these characters' names. A common Applejack. Once again, this is one of the legendaries, but it's not the redeemable because it didn't say legendary. It says common. An uncommon Rarity, which I believe was the Grail in the Series 1 drop from a couple years ago. A common Fluttershy Sea Pony. A rare Twilight Sparkle. A common Pinkie Pie Sea Pony. A common Fluttershy. A uncommon Applejack. A common Applejack. A rare Twilight Sparkle. A common Twilight Sparkle. A common Daybreaker. And the possible last card behind here is a common princess twilight sparkle and oh i guess we are ending it off here with the my little pony funko series 2 coin wow this actually is i don't know it feels very majestic with all those like diamonds and stuff on it now we're going to be opening up pack number 5440 out of 8500 let's see what we get here <laughs> All 
Alrighty. First card here is a rare Pinkie Pie. Seems promising so far. An epic Fluttershy. Talk about promising. We got our first epic of this video. A common Applejack. An epic Fluttershy again. A common Pinkie Pie. An epic Rainbow Dash. A rare Fluttershy. A common Pinkie Pie Sea Pony. A rare Twilight Sparkle. A common Twilight Sparkle. A common Rarity. A common Twilight Sparkle Sea Pony. A common Rarity. A common Rainbow Dash Sea Pony. A common Applejack. An uncommon Rainbow Dash Sea Pony. And an uncommon Fluttershy. Of course, we didn't get any redeemables yet again. Oh, and I almost wanted to go right to the end, uh, but we got ourselves another My Little Pony Funko Series 2 point. And now we're gonna be opening up pack number 3,768 out of 8,500. So let's see what we get in this one. Come on, let's get some good luck. All righty. First off, we got ourselves a common Daybreaker, an uncommon Fluttershy Sea Pony, an uncommon Twilight Sparkle Sea Pony, an Epic Rainbow Dash again, an uncommon Fluttershy Sea Pony, a common Applejack, a common Twilight Sparkle Sea Pony, a common Twilight Sparkle, an uncommon Pinkie Pie Sea Pony, a common Rainbow Dash Sea Pony, an uncommon Rainbow Dash, a common Twilight Sparkle, a common Rarity, an uncommon Applejack, a common Rainbow Dash, an uncommon Rainbow Dash Sea Pony, and an epic rarity but there once again is a reveal next and it's another my little pony funko series 2 coin we have gotten a series coin at the end of every pack thus far i feel like this is the most amount of series coin we have gotten it's nice to end off on that epic but come on we need at least a legendary for crying out loud and before we open up this final pack i should mention that if you are a fan of the channel and if you somehow are looking for another way to help support the channel we officially have youtube memberships or at least one youtube membership on our channel at the moment so when you go on our main page you may realize now that there is a button that says join and so when you press that join button it will actually show you the different perks that will be on the channel which at the moment there is only one perk which is called the mdk supporter which with this perk it is 4.99 canadian a month and you will have a loyalty badge next to your name so when you comment on a video you will see an mdk collects logo right beside your name and i will be changing it over time depending on how long you have been a member of the channel if you do choose to sign up and we'll be adding custom emojis you'll be able to use throughout the comments like the MDK Collects logos. There will probably be pictures of myself and MD Shady, our faces as terms to emojis, maybe MD Shady's cat chopper as an emoji. I don't know. I'm going to be updating it quite a bit. And most importantly, there is a member shout out. You will get a shout out in every single video and podcast going forward, no matter the level it is, depending on whether it's the one level or over time, if there's enough interest, we will be adding more tiers with a bit of a different price. But with those tiers will be adding stuff like let's say bonus videos or extra podcasts and stuff like that we're still working out the kinks so if you're looking for a way to support this channel especially when we do these videos like nfts that do cost quite a bit of money this is a great way for you to support the channel so that we're able to continue providing these kinds of videos for you guys so let's get back to the video and open up that final pack Alrighty, we got the final pack here. It is number 420. So happens to be that specific, I guess you can call it holiday this weekend out of 8,500. So maybe this may be the lucky number where we could possibly pull a legendary or the grail, a redeemable at least. So let's see what we get here. <laughs> All 
righty, let's reveal, come on, last pack magic. An uncommon rainbow dash. A rare king sombra. A common rainbow dash sea pony. An uncommon twilight sparkle. A common applejack. A rare twilight sparkle. An uncommon rainbow dash. A common Fluttershy Sea Pony. A common Fluttershy. An uncommon Pinkie Pie. Oh, come on. A common Rainbow Dash. A common Fluttershy Sea Pony. An uncommon Twilight Sparkle. Holy. Twilight Sparkle Sea Pony. A rare King Sombra. A rare rarity. An uncommon Twilight Sparkle Sea Pony. And the final card behind it. This is all up for grabs. Will the streak continue or not? I am so worried it is. No! No! The streak is over. No! We ended off on a common Fluttershy. Oh, uh, no! This is heartbreaking, guys, because if you've been watching these NFT videos, I have went pretty much the last, I think the record was, 18 NFT drops getting at least one redeemable. And of course, it's gotta be the drop that I don't care about in My Little Pony that just ends it all. But let's check out the redemption tracker and see what my progress was of possibly completing the royalty set. All right, so looking at the redemption tracker, of course, we did not complete the royalty set. We did not get a legendary and we did not get a grail either. And we were 83.78% of the royalty completed, which is pretty decent actually for just only four premium packs. But we had a total of, of course, we cleared out the commons, which there was a lot of duplicates, including the six common Apple Jacks that we ended up getting. We cleared out the uncommons of 10 out of 10. Once again, there was quite a bit of duplicates, six out of eight of the rares. And then we have ourselves uh, it's two or not, sorry, I'm looking at the one of the cards, but three out of seven of the epics, which almost every single one has a duplicate. So I almost pretty much cleared out this royalty for uh, this set. So what do we have here? Yeah, there's not really even a point of looking through these because unfortunately we did not get any of the redeemables, which is very sad, which ends our streak. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed today's video of me opening up the My Little Pony Funko Series 2 NFTs, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in the next video on the channel. One two, three, I'm out of here.